It can't happen here? Well, it did. The elaborate power grid supplying electricity to parts of nine northeastern states and Canada failed. And the question asked by 25 million people living in the affected area of 80,000 square miles was simply, how could it happen? And no one had an immediate answer. No one thought that Superstorm Sandy would close down half of lower Manhattan for a couple weeks. No one thought that a terrorist attack would close down and kill over almost 3,000 people. So we've come to be very seasoned. You know, we've had shocks that no one expected. The 65 blackout was the first. Dozens of cities blacked out. One moment, New York was glittering Gotham, the Great White Way ablaze. The next moment, only flickering candles, automobile headlights, and bobbing flashlights were probing a Stygian darkness. The pulse of the city slowed until its people, given pause, analyzed their plight. Then, poise quickly regained, New Yorkers took their blackout in stride. Those with cars snailed their way home through colossal traffic jams. Those with no transportation dined in the romantic light usually found in New Old England tea shopping. New Yorkers behaved very well. There was really a coming together. There was no crime outbreak. There was an effort really to keep the city functioning within the limits. And there was no television. I think that's the part that people don't realize. The Empire State Building lost its power, so we had no local TV. Some cab drivers became rich overnight. Some showed compassion. All in all, the night the lights went out proved that people in a crisis will try to help each other. It's pretty hard to spend a night in a hotel lobby without generating a neighborly smile at everyone's predicament. Some cities got their electricity back within minutes, others hours. Some parts of New York City, however, went more than 13 hours before they had power once more. And Gotham was slow in recovering from her near paralysis. A third of the workforce stayed home, or finally got home, and train and subway service took all day to return to normal. Taxi drivers seemed to have gone underground and taken their cabs with them, but who cared? The lights were on again, and everyone wanted to tell you what happened to him the night the lights went out.